What's going on everybody? If you have not heard, Trader Joe's Asian food is trending right now. Their Korean kimbap is selling out. Everybody talks about how good their Indian dishes are. And man, today I'm gonna be trying all of Trader Joe's best Chinese dishes. I'm gonna be judging them, and then I'm gonna be trying our brand new Smala chili oil on top of it all, guys. Yes, this is the sponsor of the video, but this is our product too, so we're, we're sponsoring the video. So. We're just sponsoring ourselves. But anyways, guys, as you guys may know, Trader Joe's is this grocery store brand based out of Monrovia, California. But honestly, the quality is amazing. And I think that the fact that they can do all different types of cuisines, Vietnamese, Thai, Korean, Indian, Chinese, and a bunch of others. They do um, a lot of Latin cuisines as well. They do Italian. I think they have some Greek items. Like the fact that they're able to just do all the ethnic cuisines at a decent level, better than other brands, is very impressive. So I'm excited but I'm gonna tell you which of these Chinese items I think is the best, the most authentic, and we're gonna try it with Smala. Let's go. All right, looking at the spread, we got the Taiwanese green onion pancakes, AKA your Tung Yo Bing. You got their classic famous orange chicken bowl, but I got the bowl because it also has the fried rice. I got your chicken shumai. I think it's based off the Japanese shumai instead of the Chinese shaomai or siomai. Oh, your honey walnut shrimp. In Cantonese, we call this hap to ha, classic. You got your chicken soup dumplings, AKA your chicken shalom bao, which is not actually super traditional, but it really works here. You got your pork gyoza pot stickers, gyoza pot stickers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, your chashu baos. I like how they use the Chinese here, Trader Ming's. Um, and then you got your chicken chow mein, chow, chow mein. But it's so funny because when I see chicken chow mein and it's the American version, I, I constantly say it like the American way, like the chow mein. Anyways, that's, that's just me being American, I guess. Man, if you do not have a steamer at home, you really need to get one. I like this one because it got that smiley face. One of my favorite snacks. I just had this idea because I've been watching a lot of uh, the Instagram videos of like Chinese recipes in China. I saw this one in Taiwan. It's called a shou zhua bing. And it's kind of like you take a chung yo bing, the scallion pancake, but you eat, like cook it with like egg or ham. I've never really done this before on the same one, so. Uh... And that is how you turn your chung yo bing into a shou zhua bing. All right. Egg on the bottom, on the top. Ooh, looking like a street food snack. Let me fold it. Get up close for that sound. I know all the Instagram chefs are doing this now. Woo! All right, first item. Let's try the Taiwanese green onion pancake. Mmm. It's very comparable to the other brands I've had, the, the ones from China or Asia. Guys, dip it in my little soy sauce and black vinegar mixture first. Good. Time to try my show dropping with some smala. Mm. Oh, that's good. Guys, you get five pancakes for two fifty at Trader Joe's. I'm not here to say that it's categorically better than the Chinese brands I've had, but this one is pretty good. And if you don't have an Asian market nearby, I think this is a pretty good version. Out of five, honestly, I gotta give this a 4.5 out of five. This is a pretty high rank for me. It's a simple thing to make. It's hard to make at home, but it's simple for them to serve it because they have to roll up all the scallions and then they flatten it and they roll it. You know what I'm saying. All right, next up we got the orange chicken bowl. I decided to get this instead of getting the whole bag of orange chicken. It's probably gonna be the same. Um, this is only 450, so this is just overall a good bargain deal too. The sauce comes separate. This one, when I rate this one, obviously I'm not really gonna rate it to a super authentic one. I'm just gonna rate it compared to like Panda Express and uh, other frozen orange chicken brands I've had, which I've had a few actually because uh, I'm not gonna lie, I like it. Microwaved. Mandarin orange chicken from Trader Joe's. Not bad. I mean, it's a little bit soggy on the outside because it's microwave versus like frying it yourself. Um, but the flavor is there, but it, the, the sauce isn't really thick, so I would like that. But let's try it with some smala, which you can get right now at smalasauce.com. By the way, if you're wondering what's in this, it's actually, um, it's like a chili roll, but it has 
uh, Sichuan peppercorn, it has some truffle mushroom, it has some truffle extract, it also has a lot of garlic, onion, a lot of umami, and a nice kick. It kind of like tingles your mouth, so let's be liberal with it. Oh. So what I like what the smala does is it adds that spicy kick and kind of complements the sweetness that the orange chicken has. So I know that Trader Joe's orange chicken is considered one of the best items. And if you love orange chicken, maybe, but I'm gonna give it more like a 3.75 out of five. All right, everybody, we're on to our first steamed items. Here we got the shumai, which is chicken shumai. And shumai, the way it's spelled, is the Japanese way, because otherwise, if it was in Mandarin, it'd be shaomai, or in Cantonese, it'd be siumai. So I think this is based off the Japanese shumai. That's my hunch. And then you have the pork gyoza uh, pot sticker, you know, wati, but kind of looks more like a gyoza, and then your chashu bao here. Now, a lot of people at home, they're gonna use different methods to cooking it. Some people have an air fryer, some people will microwave. I don't recommend microwaving at least the bao, but definitely get yourself a little steamer, man. I'm really excited about this chashu bao right here. This is the this is the one I gotta try, man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I've never had this one. Let's try it by itself. Fatty, a little peppery, sweet soy sauce flavor, not bad. Not a lot of that red coloring though. Let's try it with some smala. There's not a lot of like Sichuan kind of like mala tingly baozi out there. So I really like this one. Honestly though, as a chashu bao, this one's pretty solid. I give this a four out of five. All right, here we got the shumai. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not usually a big fan of this dish. Let me just dip it a little bit. It basically tastes like a little bit like vegetable chicken meatball um, wrapped up, but I personally think the Japanese shumai is one of the items that the Japanese do not do better than the original Chinese version. Here's some uh, smala. For me personally, I love the siumai from you know dim sum, so I'm gonna have to give that like a 2.5 out of 5. All right, pork gyoza. I actually like these a lot, but they remind me definitely more of a gyoza a Japanese style than they do like a Chinese like war tea or like guo tea. Woo! There we go, baby. Small lot goes great on dumplings. Oh what? These are so much better than the shumai. These are, get these. Honestly, I give this a 4.5 out of five. Very solid. Checking out our topping. Oh, okay. Not bad, looking very, very American though. Not super like Chinese style because like the carrots and the bell peppers and obviously the American broccoli, I would never expect to see that at an actual Chinese restaurant. But this looks like some solid like takeout from your Chinese American spot or honestly more like your non-Asian spot doing Chinese food, so. But I'm gonna cook the rest with smala and see how it does as a cooking oil. Cause I know this is a great finishing oil. Well, let's see as a cooking oil. All right guys, listen, every time you look up like Chinese stir fry noodles or like your typical stir fry chow mein recipe on allrecipes.com or on Google, this is probably what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look like some version of this westernized style. Obviously this is not super authentic, but chow mein is a real word. That's Cantonese. Um, this one, I cooked sma la with it and I tossed it in at the end and I'm gonna top it off with just a little bit and you can see it in the chicken, it's actually cooked in. And then here's the regular version, so I'm gonna try the regular version without any of my smala modifications. Let's try, this doesn't look bad, man. This definitely looks like a microwave version, but not bad. I think the chicken came cooked already, so it's a little bit weird, it's like double cooked, but anyways, that's not bad. All right, here's the one with smala. The sauce was really sweet and really heavy. Um, but actually, yeah, I can taste the smala shining through, man. It's pretty good. The reason why we put it in a squeeze bottle is because it's really easy to use when you're cooking. You can just toss it on like that, ba ba ba, like this one, ba 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 ba, you know? And this is just a delicious chili oil, man. This is my favorite, so. With the smala, I give it a four out of five. Without the smala, 3.5 out of five. Not bad, though. Not bad for Trader Joe's chow mein.
Next up, we got the chicken shalom bao, aka chicken soup dumplings. These are generally higher rated than the pork ones. They actually didn't, they ran out of the pork ones when I was at, uh, at Trader Joe's, but they usually run out of the chicken. If you go, so, so I, I uh, cooked these two different ways. I steamed them, steamed some in my steamer. And luckily, my steamer has the little egg circles, which fit the shalom bao perfectly, actually, which is funny. These are the perfectly steamed ones. These are the microwave ones. Nah, these, these, this microwave one got a little bit scorched. I think this is actually how it's supposed to look. So we'll just represent that one. To be fair to Trader Joe's. I need the steamed one first. A little dippy in my black Vinny. Might have to start calling them Trader Joe's Shanghai. These were fire. Still good, especially steamed, man. Microwaved, obviously you do it when you can, when you have to. All right, trying the microwave one, a little dippy. It does give you a little bit more of a slightly chewier texture on the outside because there's not a lot of other extra steam from extra water like from the steamer, but that's actually still pretty good. Do it if you have to. Here, now I'm gonna smala them up. Ooh, put it on the plate and then the chili oil just flows down the mountain like little rivers flowing down Woo! <clears throat> yeah you put that much you definitely get that kick but small la man on the shallow bow is incredible i put a little bit a few drops it adds that little truffly flavor a little small la tingle to your mouth and honestly man trader joe's chicken shallow bow you get a five out of five Last but not least, coming in at a whopping $7, we got the walnut shrimp in Cantonese. We call it hup do ha. That's how you would uh, say it at the restaurant here. And I'm gonna tell you this, guys. What a honey walnut shrimp, kind of debated because it's like, is it a Chinese American dish? It's served at a lot of dim sum Cantonese restaurants. I actually, my guess is it's a Hong Kong dish because it involves mayo and honey, which are more Western items, but maybe it wasn't created in America. Probably came from Hong Kong, that's my opinion. They came pre-fried. They give you a little mayonnaise sauce packet here. It looks like condensed milk. Looks like some heavy cream. And uh, yeah, I guess you're just gonna fry these up. These are look partially cooked. So my oil is hot. I've been using olive oil this whole time. Let's go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I gotta say the honey walnut prawn is definitely one of the hypest Chinese American food items as of recent. I think it's because Panda Express added it as a premium item. Also, I just feel like more and more people got exposed to it and just saw the uniqueness of like the egg flour batter kind of tempura style shrimp with the sweet mayonnaise and the walnuts. It's almost like it doesn't remind you of a lot of other Chinese dishes. But yeah, all right, man. Guys, I plated it. I think it looks pretty good. Um, actually, what happened is they batter the shrimp and then they flash fry it. So the shrimp are not actually fully cooked and then you have to cook them. So. Hopefully I cooked them, but let's check it out. This is the Trader Joe's Honey Walnut Shrimp. Mmm. I mean, considering I just made it in a skillet just now at home. Really not bad. The sauce is a little bit, I don't want to say more sour, but definitely there could be more egg flavor because that's something I find very distinct about the way they fry the Hup To Ha at the Cantonese restaurant. Thinking about the score without the small lot, I give it a, it's a four out of five. It's definitely something you should try. Let me try it with some smala. Mmm. Smala haptoha walnut shrimp. Don't sleep on this. Do not sleep on this at Trader Joe's. So I'm here with Fred. Fred, you're half Korean, half Mexican. You just told me you've never actually had the honey walnut shrimp. Before. No, I have not. You've never had it? No, I only had shrimp. Well, because you're out in Jersey where it's mostly, you've had a lot of Korean food. Yeah. All right, we'll try it, man. Let me know. This is Trader Joe's. It's kind of sad that the first time you eat this dish is Trader Joe's, but it's not bad. It's kind of hot, but it's good. It's good. I think I want more, more smala. Oh, more smala. All right, boom. It's like sweet mm. mayonnaise shrimp. There we go. That's good. All right, everybody. Uh, before I get into my final ranking, you got to check out Small Lot. This is something we worked on for 14 months. We teamed up with a kitchen of Greek and Italian guys. So it's definitely like a cross between the Calabrian chili oil from Italy and the Sichuan Mala chili oil that we all love. Um, we did not skimp on the quality of ingredients. There is real truffle in there. It will ship to your door. 
It's out of the squeeze bottle. Take it on the go. I love this product. It's just different. I'm not like, am I gonna point out, oh, it's better than this and this chili oil? It's different and it goes well on everything, especially non-Asian food. But anyways, guys, I gotta say something about Trader Joe's Asian food. First of all, I do think it's very legitimate and that they probably do have ethnic people or ethnic chefs in the back coming up with some of these recipes because they're pretty solid. Um, with that said, I do think obviously the food that you're buying to take home to Trader Joe's and cook, it is definitely missing a layer or two that you would get at the restaurant, which is not crazy to say. You know, I, I think that that is pretty fair to say that you're not gonna get everything out of the bag that you would get at a restaurant. So the must gets, definitely the Taiwanese green onion pancake, all right? Taiwanese, they get the credit for popularizing the chung yo ping in America. And you definitely gotta get the chicken shell and bao. And I would say go ahead and get the pork ones too. I would say try to steam them though, if you can. And then a sleeper one that surprised me was the honey walnut prawns. Dude, to get honey walnut prawns at home, shrimp out of the bag, pretty good. Ones that you can skip, or ones that I think are solid, that you should try, are the pot stickers, the orange chicken. Uh, not my favorites, but solid. I'm not mad if I gotta eat them. But then these two, you could skip, unless you're really into particularly the Japanese style shumai, which to me is a little bit lighter in flavor. And uh, I love Japanese food, but Japanese food often is kind of light. And then uh, I would skip the chow mein. I don't know, I just wasn't, it was okay, but I wasn't feeling it. Nothing's really horrible here. But anyways, guys, let me know if you want me to review more Trader Joe's items because they got Thai food, Korean food, Italian food, they have Japanese food, uh, they have Mexican food. I saw some Cuban dishes. Um, they have American dishes too. I mean, just let me know because uh, I'm down to review it and put Smala on it. So, smalasauce.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button. And I'm back in the kitchen. It's kind of like the old school. All right. Until next time, we out. Peace.